Hello Intune friends! In this video we're just going to look at some commands you can send to a iOS device from Intune. In the previous video we created some configuration profiles. Let's go and see what those commands are. So if we go all devices, and mine is personally enrolled, not uh, corporate, so I have less option, but we will see them grayed out. So I could retire and then it says, are you, it will just remove the MDM management profile, the very profile that we installed in the previous video that makes Intune able to run all the command. But so the user can still use it since it's a personal one. If it's a corporate one, then it's a different story. I don't want to do it. Same goes with wipe, but here it will actually um, totally wipe my, mach my uh, iPhone, even though it's a personal uh, enrolled. So it will be like a reset. So don't want to do that. Delete just means it's going to delete it from Intune. The mobile phone just going to continue as before, the iPhone. Not going to do that. I can send a remote lock. We'll see how that looks like. I'm going to connect to my phone. Okay, so here we have uh, the phone. Let's switch back. Let's do a remote lock. The user can unlock. So if it gets stolen, why not? And yeah, it's already locked. So I was not fast enough. So it goes very quick. So, well, I can unlock it. And there we go. So that works obviously very well, very quick. Uh, I don't remember it going that quick. I thought it took uh, some seconds, but this was uh, instant. Uh, can send the sync. We can see our uh, commands here. Remote lock complete. Sync uh, doesn't usually work so good. The user have to sync from company portal when it's personally uh, enrolled. But for corporate, that would work very well. Uh, remove a passcode. Let's see if that works. Uh, well, without until a new one is set. Well, let's say yes to that and go back. See if that's happened as fast as last time. We can go back and see. Oh, remove passcode is complete. It's maybe just me who, so what's, uh, let's see why it says that. Oh, I need to update device uh, passcode. So it has worked. Okay, so if I lock this one and then unlock, That worked, uh, the recording of my iPhone uh, got stuck when I locked the phone. Uh, so it definitely says that I have to um, uh, change it. So if we go passcode. Here you see, I have to turn it on. Turn it back on, I would say. Okay, well, it's asking for password. I'm not going to put that now. Okay, so that worked. Restart, as mentioned, supervised. So that means all this should work. Uh, revoke license, don't want to do that. Uh, can locate the device. You see which ones are supervised only. Uh, Send the custom notification. Let's do that. I'll do my uh, favorite. Uh, remember, we got quiet, quiet? Yeah, quiet Tuesday. No notifications on Tuesdays. Let's send this. Okay, successfully sent. Let's see when it shows up here. Okay, so I got a message from my organization. I thought it would uh, be more visible as a notification. Haven't tested this. Okay, so pretty lame, I would say, if you have to go in into a company portal to get the notification. I was, I thought it would be an OS uh, notification, but okay, that maybe can be useful for something. 
And I think we have went through all the settings. Yes, all the other are uh, supervised. Okay, that shows a bit how you can manage iPhones in, with uh, Microsoft Intune. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.